Now we're going to make a chocolate and caramel Swiss roll. And this is a really fantastic bake to do because there's so much chemistry that is going on in every single aspect of this bake. To start off with, we're going to first make our sponge. We need three medium eggs. So we're going to add the sugar. So we'll get that whisked in on a high speed. Yeah, so that's nice ribbon consistency, so you can see that it's just falling away and it's leaving a trail. And what we've done in this process is we've used the mechanical force of whisking and that has opened up, relaxed, denatured these, these, the proteins that's in our egg white. And now all these, all these air bubbles that we've introduced into the batter are now being captured by that network of proteins. They're going to form around these, these air bubbles and that's what's creating this foam. And the sugar's got a really important process. It increases the viscosity and actually helps to stabilise that resulting foam so it doesn't go back to the egg white again. So we've got some plain flour. We've got some cocoa powder, and we've also got here some baking powder. So the baking powder has got in it bicarbonate of soda. That bicarbonate of soda, when it goes into the heat of the oven, will break down, also release some CO2 bubbles, and that's gonna help give us a great rise to the sponge. The baking powder has also got an acid in there as well. And that acid will react with the basic or alkaline bicarbonate of soda, and together that will also produce CO2 bubbles, giving us a really great light fluffy sponge. And now we can incorporate this into our sponge batter. Just folding the dry ingredients into that mixture till we've got a nice smooth batter where we've got no pockets or lumps of flour. Now we can put this into a tray which is greased and lined. And then now just to flat to smooth this out, to move it all, push it all out to the corners. And it can now go in the oven preheated at right about gas six, so that's about 180 degrees fan, 200 degrees no fan. Okay, let's turn it. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna, I'm gonna leave the sponge now just to cool for a couple of minutes, just whilst I dust this baking parchment with some cocoa powder. You just can't have enough chocolate, can you? So I think it's a, it's a must. There we go. And now for the messy bit, where I'm going to flip this over and send a cocoa powder dust cloud towards everybody. Perfect. Now we can peel back our parchment. I'm going to roll it up, want to act nice and quickly before it starts to harden. And we're just going to roll it up like that. And then we'll leave that to cool until we're ready to assemble. To assemble, we're gonna first of all put our base layer of caramel. We're gonna add on chantilly cream. Now we can roll this up and we'll move it onto our plate. Nice bit of caramel over the top. And we're gonna just going to finish that off with just a few shards um, just on top. Mm. It looks really nice on that side, actually, doesn't it? 